In this video you will learn the difference between behavior subject and just subject inside the RxJS. And actually subject is a really powerful tool inside the RxJS. But in order to understand the usages of it, let's create both subject and behavior subject. So first of all here I want to create a behavior subject because we are using them much more often. What we can write here is users with dollar because this is a stream of data. And here we simply write equals new behavior subject with round brackets. But it is not all, as you can see we must provide a single argument inside behavior subject and this is the initial value that we want to have inside our stream. If we are talking here about users, this is typically an array of objects. This is why on initialize we will have here an empty object. This already looks fine, but we can write that better, because here we don't know what we will store inside. This is why here on the top I want to create an interface, user interface, and let's say that we have here id, which is a string, and name, which is a string. Now here inside our behavior subject we can specify the type of our data and it will be user interface array. So this is how we typically create behavior subject. As you can see we have users dollar which is behavior subject of user interface. Now the question is how we can use it and why it is so powerful. And it is so powerful because we can subscribe to our behavior subject like an observable but we can also update a value inside the stream which essentially means this is our state that we can update from any place and we can subscribe to the changes. Let's try this out. Here I can write this, users, this is our behavior subject and actually here we have as observable if you want to, but we can directly write dot subscribe, it will work just fine and here we are getting our users. And here inside I just want to console log our users, which will be the change of our stream every single time when we are changing it. Let's look in browser. As you can see here we already see one single console log with empty array. Why is that? Because essentially initial setting of the value, this default value empty array, is also being propagated to all our subscribers, which actually means this is our subscription and now we can subscribe to our behavior subject in any place. But now the question is how we can update it. And in order to simulate that, I will write here set timeout because typically you want to update your state, your behavior subject, after an API call. And let's say that our API call is being delayed with two seconds. And after these two seconds, we want to update our array. How we can do that? For this, we are writing this users.next and we are providing the next value inside users, which actually means we completely override our array. So here, let's create an array with just one user with id1 and name foo. So in order to update our behavior subject, we always use .next. Let's check this out. I'm reloading the page and here first of all we see users and after two seconds users again, this is our subscription, with this array with a single user. Which essentially means this is a perfect way to store some state inside your project where you can subscribe to it from any place but also you can trigger changes to this state. But it is not all, we have even more. At any moment of our time we can read what we have inside our behavior subject. Let's say here inside our set timeout we just want to console log set timeout and I want to get here the value inside our stream. For this I am writing this users dollar dot get value. And actually this is a synchronous way to get a value. And as you can see in browser it works set timeout and this is the value. And if you already worked with observables, you know how difficult it is to get values from the observables with some event handlers. For example, you have a stream and then you subscribe to the stream, but you really want to get a value when you click on the button. It can be tricky, but in this case with behavior subject it is not, because in any handler you can simply call this users get value and get a value from behavior subject. So essentially in 99% of subject cases we are using behavior subject. But now let's compare it with just plain subject. And in order to do that I want to create here subject also with dollar. And here we are creating a new subject and round brackets. And as you can see here we don't get any error just because we are not providing default value inside subject. 
What we also can do, we can specify here a data type, for example, user interface array. This is just the same. But now I will copy paste this code with subscribe and change it to subject with dollar. Here we are getting our users and I will write here users from subject. And here are our users. As you can see in browser, we don't see our subject just because nothing was triggered and we don't have any data inside. Because we don't have default value inside, we don't get initial value inside subscribe. This is the main difference between behavior subject and subject, we don't have initial value. But just like we did previously, we can inside our set timeout use this dot subject dollar next and it will work in exactly the same way. As you can see here, we are getting listener users from the subject and this is our data, which essentially means next inside subject and behavior subject is working the same way. But here is one more point why we are using subject less. We don't have such a useful get value function inside subject. Subject simply does not store a value inside, it simply propagates it to all our listeners when we are calling next, which essentially means we don't have a value inside subject and we can't read it, but we can do it with behavior subject, which means it is more flexible. If we will try to write here this dot subject dot, we don't have here something like get value, this method simply does not exist. So almost always in the real project, I highly recommend you to look on behavior subject because it is highly versatile in comparison to plain subject. And actually, if you are interested to know for decorators, for providers inside Angular, which are host, optional, skip self and self, make sure to check this video also.